sex in a two to six week period before transition, before testing um, HIV positive. You know, the scientists concluded that it is indeed possible for individuals who are adherent to PrEP to contact HIV when they are exposed to the virus that is resistant to both doses included in Javera. You know, um, make sure I get everything because I want to make sure I tell you everything when I start my mouth running. Okay. And he did the, you know, the dry blood spot testing on samples taken 20 days after he tested he tested HIV positive. He had high levels of Javera. So basically, okay, now I got that out of the way. So basically what they're saying is that, you know, the guy was testing and stuff and he didn't have HIV. Then all of a sudden he went back um, within a certain period of time. He did the blood, he did the blood dry test. You know, they test your blood to see if, you know, if you got HIV or any type of disease. So he tested positive. And they're stating that, you know, he's like a rare case. He's from Candy, he's 23 years old. And normally they don't have this problem, but he's a rare case of it. You know, but the thing, like I always said to before, I don't trust anything when it comes down to these pills and stuff. I always tell you, protect yourself, use condoms, use, you know, use your best, use your best discretion when it comes to you as far as your body. My thing is the more the merrier, but this is what a lot of people are believing, and I'm just going to put it out there. A lot of people are believing that prep pill is just a setup so you can stop using protection, so you can have sex without protection, so this way it can get rid of all of us. Um, this is what, I'm not saying this, but it is food for thought for you to think about when you're taking this pill. I know people are like, oh, well, I take PrEP and PrEP does me wonderful. Okay, fine, that works for you. But there are some people that may be thinking that, okay, I'm taking this pill, I'm safe. So a lot of people have I've talked to and they told me they said they feel as though the PrEP pill is set up to kill us all faster. It's to make us believe that we can have sex with other people. And the thing about it is that once you get HIV like this guy did, now he's taking HIV medicine because now, you know, he doesn't have to take PrEP anymore because now he's infected. So now he's taking HIV medicine, you know, to prolong his life. And like I said before, a lot of people believe that's just a setup to kill us off. People believe that you need to keep using protection. Listen, nothing is 100%, but every little bit helps. You know, like I said before, even prior video when I had talked about the PrEP pill, you know, my thing is, is use everything. Use condoms, use rubbers, use glad bags, use everything you can to protect yourself, you know. Abstinence, they said, is the best thing. And when you think of abstinence, that means don't have, don't have sex with anyone at all. Now, if they're telling you abstinence is the best, that means, to me, per se, just my opinion, they can't figure out how you get it. And to me, that's letting you know that they can't figure out exactly how you get it. That means anything you say to me don't mean nothing to me. You know, my thing is I have to use protection. If I have sex, use protection. You know, and it's up to you, you know. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. That is your body. And you decide you want to let somebody go inside of you without protection. That's your choice. You know, and that's you. I can tell you all day, use protection. You know, use condoms. Use Trojan. Trojans are thicker. You know, they got the kind that make it, you know, thinner so you can get more sensation. Don't use those. Use a thick one. Use the real thick ones. I can tell you that all day. But at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. You know, but I did feel it's so important to let you know that someone has tested positive for the PrEP pill. That was not supposed, you were not supposed to get, it's supposed to make you never get, you know, not supposed to get HIV, any person got it. So, this is one case, one of many, I'm sure, to come, just my opinion. But like I said before, always protect yourself. That is your insurance, that is your body. It is nothing coming back from someone saying, oh, by the way, you're positive. But I took the medicine, I should be positive. Well, I'm sorry, but we're going to start this new HIV medicine. And you said, wow, I trusted you with my body, and you're telling me now I'm positive. So like I said before, I talked to a few people, they said it's just a setup to kill us all faster. I want to know how you feel about this. You know, I just want to put it out there, you know, that one person that's tested positive so that you know nothing is 100%. Nothing is 100%. But my thing is, is that this person having sex and they, were, they, was, um, they didn't use protection like, as far as a condom. They, they just trusted the PrEP pill and it failed them. So it's just food for thought. I don't know how you feel about this. Do you feel as though PrEP pill is a way to kill off the gay people faster? Anyway, that being said, I would love to hear your comments. And I want to say hello, my dogs. Meow. I want to say hello, my king. I want to say hello, new people. Boom. I want to say hello, old people. Bam. 
And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do the best way that you can. And nobody likes to fuck up. Over.